Hi. So I thought we'd look at AI, um, not not the coding of the program part. Basically, you know, it's everywhere. We're, we're doing it and all this kind of stuff. And, and I think it was like just an easy way to get AI on your desktop. Um, I'll, I'll sort of show you that in a minute. So what I did was I've written a script that sort of pulls in a package that allows you to run AI really simply in an interface that you that you're sort of used to, as opposed to what a marcher gives you out of the box, which is which is not quite what you're used to. So yeah, so what we do, well, I'll sort of like take you through the go on to marcher and we'll go through what you've got and sort of what you want, and then we'll install the script and then you can sort of see what you get. Basically, it allows you to pull in local LLMs. This is very much dependent on your graphics cards. So if you've got 16 gig cards, you're in a really good place. Eight gig, not so much. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of the base cards are 16 now. If you're on a laptop, I'm not too sure if this will work properly for you because as with all things to do with laptops, this involves graphics card detection. So this has been tested. I've tested this on an Intel 12 gig Sparkle card an AMD 9060XT and we're going to do the install on an NVIDIA 5060 Ti. Now they're all desktop machines so your mileage may vary if you try and put this on a laptop but you know give it a go. I put an uninstaller script as well so you can pull it back off underneath it. Anyway so let's jump over onto the desktop and I'll, and I'll talk you around what I'm sort of rambling on about here. So let's dive in. So here we are on the desktop and when you, you know, if you know the shortcuts already, if you just do super shift A, that brings up chat GPT, which is a nice user friendly interface that you, you know how to use like Claude similar. It's that box in the middle that allows you to talk, you know, to do your chat. So let's get rid of that. And then if you go further in and you're going to install, you've got a whole AI section here, but it's very much focused at developers. So you've got this great, for people like me, Claude Code, Cursor, CLI, Gemini, but all that's going into your command line. So that's if you're sort of programming. So the thing to do is basically you can load LM Studio and what LM Studio does, that gives you a, you know, sort of a, an interface that you can play with and you can chat to. But again, it's very complicated. It's not what you're used to. And then you've got a llama. A llama is the back end we're going to use, but we're going to put the web GUI over the top of it and make it very, very simple for you to use it. So, okay, so let's get on with that. So let me just get rid of this. Oh, and whilst we're here, I just thought I'd throw this. I've always got all these great desktops. I thought I'd show you how to get change your desktops really quickly. I thought it's just a quick tip. So if you go into um, this and you go to learn, and then you go to a marchi. And if you go down to it says themes, go extra themes page, and then there's another page here, extra themes, and there's tons of ones which aren't installed. So you could just scroll down and then let's pick what's that one? A yaka. Click on that. And then at the top here you've got a code thing. So you just drop down, copy that, then you go back into here, go to install, go to style. And then theme, and then you click on that, and then you paste what you've got into there, and it will pull it down. There we go, and then close everything. And now we've got a totally different theme. So I can now go, let's just choose some wallpaper here. There we go. And then that should be installed properly. So if you just go back to here, style, theme, and there it is. What was the one I had cobbled to? Let's go back to that. There we go. And then back to that. So you can add extremes. Sorry, the slight side there, but it's really simple to do. But people have asked about where I'll get my desktop from. It's all built in. Anyway, so let's do the install. So I need a console. And then I need file finder. And I've already put the script in here. And I need to chmod plus x. Honestly, com. I'm losing the plot plus x and then copy that put that over here and then paste it again and off we go now this is the detection part and this is the bit that may not work fantastically on laptops but give it a go 
it's basically it's detected either a 5060 Ti and it's decided that's the discrete card. So it's going to basically install it for, and it's ignored the fact that my Ryzen GPU, uh, Ryzen CPU has an iGPU and it's going to install it for the 5060. So I need to put the password in and off it goes. So this whole process um, can take a while. So what we'll do is I'll jump off and then basically this whole thing, I think it's about 20 minutes to pull down all the stuff it needs. And then I'll come back. I'll leave it running like this, but I mean, I'll just stop recording and we'll come back to the very last, very last bit. OK, so we're back and it's finished. So I think that took about 20 minutes. There's an awful lot of code going in. Um, I, I'll get the um, we'll, we'll do a quick, we'll do a clever test in a minute. You can understand what it's much better than me explaining what that script's doing. I'll let the AI anyway. So you've got the last bit here. And then basically what you need to do, you must reboot uh, because there's certain permissions attached to what's going to happen. And if you don't reboot, it won't work. So let's reboot. So it's just ROB and we'll come back. And the first time the script runs, it's it, it's got to do a few stuff to a few things to initiate. So it'll sort of stop and start. But once it's once it's done its initiation, it just works seamlessly. And I'll sort of talk to take you through what it's what it actually does. Here we go back again. So it's back in. But yeah, this was just an easy way of, of, of getting an AI, a local AI to play with on the desktop. Because sometimes you don't need the one in the cloud or sometimes you want to work on local files and you don't want to put that stuff in the cloud. And uh, the model I'm going to use is Gemma 3. That works really well on a 16 gig card and it deals with images. And we'll have a look at that. So. To launch it, it is Super Shift Q, and then we'll get that. And then it should start, try and start. Hello, you've got to give it a minute to do its thing. Once it's, once it's cracked it the first time, it's better to stop start to get it going. It should hopefully launch the browser. Yes. Here, here we go, running, but you'll get nothing. Okay, the first time it comes up, you won't get anything. So, because it's just initiating in the background. So, the thing to do now is Super Shift Q stops it. And then we close it again. Now, Super Shift Q. And it should, should ping into life. He says. Give it a minute. Is it going to do it? No, reload. I think I need to wait here a moment. Let's close that down. Super Shift Q. Close it. Super Shift Q. Super. there and it's up okay so a couple of restarts just super shift q until it, it clicks in and then you're done so basically enter your name into an email q at q.com q and then create admin password and now you've got the web interface but we don't have any models on the system and the way to add them we go Super Shift B, and we'll go to Alana, and then we'll go and get a model. So, models, 
and we'll find Gemma 3. And we'll get the 12B model. Click on that, copies it. Go over here, paste that in, and then it'll say Paul Gemma Alama. And then now it will start to download. So let's get rid of that. Okay, and I'll come back when the model's downloaded. Okay, so we're back. And what I've done is I've downloaded a couple of models. So I've pulled down Quen 3 14 billion, ChatGPT OSS, the 20 billion parameter model, and Gemma 3. So you can, you've got to sort of work it out. You want to have under a 16 gig model, but you need space for the context. So you can pull down whatever model you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just switch to ChatGPT. I'm going to bring up BTOPS. Hang on, let's just put it over there. Um, actually, let's just switch that round. Okay, there we go. It's just so you can see this in operation. Then over here, when we do it, Super Shift F, uh, which has come up underneath me, I'm going to do the, get the script that um, that we installed this with, and I'm going to just get it to explain what this script does. Explain, and then over here, you should be able to see the GPU should go mad. So let's get take a pause as it loads the model into memory. Explain. Oh, I'll spell it properly. Explain this bash script and what it does. Let's just grab that, pop that over there, and then see it. Now over here, it'll pause, it's going to load the model into memory. There it goes, 51%, 95%. Now, when you do this on an AMD machine and it does rock them, that won't show there. You need to use a thing called Radon Tops which shows you the use of the GPU. And then with the Intel install, you need to use a thing called NVTOPS, which shows the in Intel GPU usage. Okay, so it's come up with this. It says, Alama setup script is a help script to system to run Alama. Right, it log, uh, logging detection detects the GPUs, prioritizes NVIDIA, yeah. So it prioritizes your GPUs, cleans up existing web, yeah, because it, it, if you make a foul up with it, it gets rid of the old stuff. Overall, the script issue is environment correct, uh, correctly configured for a llama, and it chooses preferred GPUs to clears any any leftover failed in, in stores. Um, how can I modify the script to prioritize? So it gives you tons of stuff, and that was pretty quick. I don't know what the tokens per second is on that. I don't know. Let me have a look. It's in there somewhere. But yeah, so the script operates similarly for on Intel and sorry on Rockham on AMD, but Intel slightly different. Intel, Intel, Alama's not designed for Intel. So you have to put, um, let me just explain it. Let's just do it in here. Explain how the script copes with Intel GPUs. And it'll give me these explanation of what I've done because you have to load in another layer to do this. Is he going to pick it up? Yeah, don't uh, do Especially because basically, hang on a minute. How about how does it handle the llama when using? an Intel GPU because there's a layer you have to put in because Alana doesn't work directly with Intel and it's called IIPPX. What's it saying here? Because the detection GPU is a performance. Yeah, basically there's a layer that it called IPPX but you have to put in between Alama and and using the web UI. So it will work, but certain models don't. So Gemma 3 will work, but ChatGPT OSS is written in a different way. It will not work. So there's certain models, a lot of models work. Let's just do a new chat. New chat. And let's just pick a different model. Let's just pick Gemma. Gemma's quicker. And let's try and see if it gives me a better answer than that got logged in. So how does this script deal? with Intel 
GPUs and a llama. Now, this is a more lightweight model, and we'll show you what else you can do with this. Gem is good because it's multimodal, which means you can use images. So let's put that in there, see what it comes out with. Now it's unloaded the other model, and then we just load that back in. So again, over here, you'll see, there it is. So the generic Intel GPU fallback is in place, but however, if the GPU is Intel Arc, the script will install IPEX LLM, the Intel One API runtime. So that sits over the top of a llama, but the client is older. So ChatGPT OSS doesn't work, but Gemma 3 does and stuff like that. Now, one of the reasons Gemma 3 is great is because it's my model, and I'll show you what I mean by this. So let's just do this print screen. And we just grab that picture and we'll save it. And then you go over here and then pictures. Where is it? Pictures and explain this picture. Explain this picture to me. Just grab it, pop it in there. Oh, I need to probably start a new chat for that. That's confused it. New chat. Explain this picture to me. Spell explain wrong. Now, obviously, this is nowhere. Okay, let's drag down the screenshot. There we are. And then we'll, it, because it can read. So, obviously, when you're doing this, quite focused, it's like, you know, you you can, if you get to know the web UI, let's get rid of these. If you get to know the web UI, you can get it to do web searches, you can get it to do local knowledge, so you can get it to read. I mean, these smaller models are very useful for specific use cases. So, this is basically explained something to me. But it's quite quick, as you can see. That's the Gemma 3 12 billion parameter model. And then when you want to get rid of it with this, you just go Super Shift Q and it cuts it down. So now you've got a local and you've got your um, ChatGPT. So ChatGPT, Super Shift A, that one. Then Super Shift Q, that'll fire up, he says. So I've now got on over this side, I've got my main chat GPT in the cloud, and then I've got the other one. I've also put Quen on here as well, which is a coding one. So you've got lots of options, and it means you can work offline, bring it on. I mean, I don't know, as I said, I don't know if this works on laptops, but if you don't have access to an AI because of the internet or something, you can use this fallback method. But also, as I said, I mean, you can add a knowledge to it, things like that, and, and, and play around with it on your machine. Let's close this down. OK, so back to me. So there you go. So I hope that's useful. It's just a really easy way to get the web UI working on your system, um, get some local models going. It does work on Intel with some caveats. Um, Rockham seems to work fine on the 9060XT. That still went fine. And I ran models. I mean, obviously, you know, it's there if you want to do it, if you want to do the offline model. So it's sort of a super simple way to do it with the key, uh, Super Shift Q to go into it, Super Shift Q to come out of it. Now, with this script, I put it in the members area. So if you want to go in there, but remember, it's tested on desktops. Um, I haven't tested on laptops because obviously the way that their GPU configuration is slightly different. So if you want to have a play with it, it's in the members area. And there you go. This is just a super simple um, AI script to get you to have an extra interface that you can play with. I hope that's useful uh, and uh, thanks for watching.